All right, we're stopped. The night of August 29, 2023, an officer spots a 2007 Chevrolet pickup truck driving 60 miles per hour in a 40 mile zone and having trouble maintaining its lane. Suspecting that the driver might be intoxicated, the officer initiates a stop. Up out of the vehicle. This dude's officially poo pooed. Great. Got anything on you that we need to know about? No, I have nothing. All right, go ahead and uh, take step over here. Turn around for me, real quick. Put your hands out of your pocket. Put your hands up here. Yes, sir. Where are you drinking at? What's that? Where are you drinking at tonight? Uh, we're in. Uh, um, you guys yeah, it does like some. Boogie Brews, I'm like, I'm like, like what? two blocks away from my house, two, um, Big League Brews. Baby Brews? Big League, Big League, Big League, League Brews. Brews. And how many do you have, four beers? I, I have yeah, like four I mean, or five beers. Yeah, four or so. five, all right, because I mean, let's just be honest, you're, you're absolutely ripped, right? I don't. You're hammered, you're drunk. You can barely speak. You can barely stand up. All right. What do you mean I can barely stand up? Well, okay. Come on over here. You turn the oh, front lights on. Like the driver is identified as 44-year-old Joseph Murray, chief of the Dearborn Fire Department. Not only that, but he's also president of the Southeastern Michigan Association of Fire Chiefs. The seasoned fire chief should already know how this goes, so the officers go ahead and dive straight into the field sobriety tests. All right, see tip my finger? Yes. See it? Stand with your feet together, arms down by your side. Feet together. Yeah. Feet together, like this. Yes, there we yeah. go. There you go. Oh, you're going to fall over on me, oh, aren't sorry, you? I, no, I got it. Did you tip my finger? Right here. I'm yes. over here. All right. Follow it with your eyes. Keep your head still. You understand? Yes, sir. Nope. Got to keep your head still. Over here. Nope. Head still. You're not following it. Right here. See this? I'm right following. here. I see it. Tip you your finger. It. See it. Follow it. Nope. Keep your head still. You gotta follow my finger, man. I don't even want me to do I, I want I, you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes. Keep yes, your head sir. still. Yes, sir. Let's try it one more time. The horizontal gaze and nystagmus test is conducted outside of the view of the camera, and though we can't see his performance, Chief Joseph has to be corrected multiple times throughout the test, particularly about moving his head. Lack of ability to follow the instructions of the test is a pretty indisputable fail. Now, can you walk in a straight line? Uh, yeah, I yeah, absolutely can. You can? All right, take one big step back, a big step back. What's that? One step back? A big one, yeah. Okay. Perfect. What I want you to do, I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot, touch your heel to your toe, just like this. Stand just like this. Right in front of it, though, not on the side of it. Just see how I have? Perfect. Now, don't move. Oh, no, no, don't touch your car. All right, right foot, that's close. That's really close. All right, when I tell you to, you're going to take nine steps in a straight line. You're going to touch your heel to your toe on each step. You're going to count each step out loud. It's going to look just like this. One, two, three, all the way to nine. On your ninth step, you're going to keep your foot just like I am. You're going to turn by taking a series of small steps. And you're going to come back, take nine more heel to toe steps. Do you understand that? I'm sorry, what did you say? What? Nine what? steps turn, nine steps back. Count each step out loud. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you have nine, any questions? Nine, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Nine, nine steps, steps, turn, come back. Okay. Count each step out loud. Once you start, don't stop. Do you, do you understand the instructions? 
Yes, sir. Fantastic. Let me see. Let me see your best shot at it. It doesn't seem like the officer actually put much effort into explaining the instructions for the walk and turn test. This could be because he expects the fire chief to know the drill already, or because he recognizes that there isn't really a point in conducting the tests, seeing as Joseph is visibly wasted. It's more than likely that the officers are just trying to get the required tests over with so they can go ahead and cuff him. Four, off the line. Yeah. Went back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just like I just like I demonstrated. Two, three, four. It's really good. Five, six, seven, eight, Perfect. Great. All right. Next, come here. Stand right here. Right here. Right here. Right in my light. Perfect. Fantastic. Can you get your hand out of your pocket for me? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to put your feet together, arms down by your side. Just or just like this. Stand just like this. Yes, sir. Feet together like this once again. Feet together. Perfect. Don't move. When I tell you to, you're gonna you're gonna lift one foot off the ground approximately six inches. You're gonna count out loud so that I can hear you. It's gonna look just like this. You're gonna point your toe out straight. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. You're gonna keep going until I tell you to stop. If you put your foot down before I tell you to, please pick it back up and you can resume counting where you left off. All right. Count out loud so that I can hear you, and you're gonna keep going until I tell you to stop. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Do you have any questions? Just hold my, hold my foot up. Yeah. Well, there's a little more to it than that, but do you do you understand what I demonstrated to you? All right, give okay. me your best shot. Hold my, hold on, okay. Yep, foot in the air, approximately okay. six inches, and 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Sorry. Legs, see how my legs straight, toes pointed, like this, see? Like that. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, we're not going to do that because you're going to bump your noggin. I don't know. I, All right, sorry. Joseph. We already established in the last 15 minutes you've had nothing to eat or drink, smoke, burp, regurgitate, throw up or put in your mouth, all right? State of Michigan requires that upon request of a police officer, you submit to a preliminary breath test. Failure to do so results in a fine to civil infraction up to $100. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right, open your mouth, stick your tongue out. Ah. Uh, perfect. Is a PBT open up, but it's like a balloon. Blow as hard as you can. I mean, no, I mean, I'm not like a, I'm not like for a lawyer or something. You don't want to take that? I don't understand, like, what's We just the, want to see where you're at, because I think you're intoxicated. I think you've had too much to drink today. This will just kind of give us a rough estimate of exactly where kind of that number's at, okay? I feel like I, I feel like I just need to wait for a lawyer. You want to wait for a lawyer? Fantastic. You're going to be placed under arrest. Put your hands behind your back, okay? Under arrest for drunk driving. And now, possibly for refusal to submit a breathalyzer test. Though the suspect must give consent and cannot be forced to take a breathalyzer test, refusal does come at a price. Declining the test is a direct violation of the state's implicit consent laws, which state that all drivers are obliged to take a breathalyzer test, if it's required by an officer who has good reason to believe that the driver is impaired. Joseph is offered the opportunity again once he's in the back of the patrol car, where the officer reads him the formal request for a chemical test. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, sir. I'm a peace officer. You're under arrest for the offense of operating a vehicle while intoxicated due to the consumption of an alcoholic liquor, a controlled substance, other intoxicating substance, or a combination. I'm requesting you take a chemical test to check for alcohol and or controlled substances or other intoxicating substances in your body. If you're asked to take or took or preliminary breath test before your arrest, you must still take the test I'm offering you. If you refuse to take this chemical test, it will not be given without a court order, but I may seek to obtain such a court order. Your refusal to take this test shall result in suspension of your operator's or chauffeur's license and vehicle group designation or operating privilege, and the addition of six points to your driving record. After taking my chemical test, you have a right to demand that a person of your own choosing to administer a breath, blood, or urine test. You will be given reasonable opportunity for such tests. You are responsible for obtaining chemical analysis of a test sample taken by a person of your own choosing. The results of both chemical tests should be admissible in a judicial proceeding and will be considered with other admissible evidence to determine innocence or guilt. Will you take a blood test, sir? 
What's up, I'm sorry? I'm asking you to take a blood test, okay? So here's how it works. I'm asking you to take a blood test. If you say no, I'm going to get a search warrant. We're going to go take your blood. You're going to get six points, and they're going to suspend your license. If you say yes, we do, a, we do the blood. Everything goes smoothly. We send it out for testing, and then we'll handle everything on court. All right, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to get the results one way or another at this point. Um, like I said, I'm asking you to consent to a blood test, and if you'll take one. No, I, I mean, I, I understand I'm not trying to be, like, against anything, but, right. like, I don't want to do anything without, okay. uh, All right, just, opinion. okay, I just want you to be clear, though, you do understand that if you say no, they're going to get, you're going to get six points and your license is going to get suspended. Suspects are often under the misconception that they have the right to consult a lawyer on whether or not to take a blood test. However, as a product of the previously mentioned implied consent laws, Anyone with a valid driver's license has already consented to submitting a chemical sample at any time if requested by an officer with reasonable suspicion of intoxication. Therefore, suspects actually don't have the right to counsel concerning whether or not to submit the sample. So you probably need a driver's license, right? I agree. Okay, so yes. I just want you to understand that if you say no, I'm going to get a search warrant, we're going to just draw the blood, okay? So... Okay. I, you know, I'm getting my results one way or another, sir. I understand you're in a bad I know, spot I here. I I, you know, just, you've you've made, like, you obviously put yourself in a bad spot here tonight, okay? So if you don't want to go with the program, well, that's no problem. I'll no, get a I'm search not, warrant. I'm not trying to not go with the program. I'm just trying to, like, have, a, have my, my I know, my but it's probably about 2, almost 3.30 or 3 in the morning on a Tuesday morning. It's really, we're on the side of, Car oh, what are we on here, Carlisle? Carlisle? We're on the side of Carlisle at 3 in the morning, sir, so it's not really uh, feasible or practical to think that you're going to have an attorney available to you at 3 a.m. on Tuesday No, morning. I agree with that. I agree right. with that. No, that's right. fine. You can... So my question is, will you consent to a blood test? I won't. What? Not, not until you can talk to an attorney. Okay. No. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to advise you that that's going to be a refusal, okay? You I don't do, know what that so means, but... That means that you've refused the blood test. We're going to go to the station, I'm going to get a search warrant, and then we're going to go take your blood, okay? And now you're going to have to go, now your license is going to end up probably suspended for a year, and you're, not, you're going to get six points, so you won't be able to drive, okay? You understand that? I don't, I don't understand, no. No, okay, so I'm going to try to explain to you one more time, okay? You have two, um, there's two options. You can consent to the blood test like I've requested, or you can refuse the blood test. If you refuse it, you get six points on your record and the license gets suspended, okay? Or I'm, you, not, I'm not refusing it. I just want to talk to my lawyer. Before. Is your is your lawyer available right now at 3 a.m.? I don't have I have to find a lawyer. Yeah, right. So you don't even have a lawyer. Therefore, that's not, once again, that's not... No, I'm correct. saying, like, I'm not, I'm not refusing it. I just want to talk to my lawyer before. But you don't have a lawyer, you said. And it's 3 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, sir. We're on the side of the road. You don't... There's not an opportunity at this exact second to talk to a lawyer. You said you don't even have one. Therefore... My question is, will you consent to a blood test, yes or no? Not at this time. Not at this time. Fantastic. Okay. You guys got one with you. Chief Joseph was taken to the local hospital for a blood draw, then to the nearby jail. We can only imagine that being the leader of an emergency response team without a driver's license won't go over very well. Dearborn Mayor Hamund would apparently agree as the 11-year-long fire department chief was placed on administrative leave immediately following news of the incident. The mayor would say in a statement two days later, We're taking this matter seriously. As facts become known, we will take the appropriate course of action. At the time of this video, no updates have been made concerning the status of Joseph's employment. A huge thank you to Fox 2 Detroit for providing us with this video. You can view and drop a like on the raw footage over on their channel. If you want more of the craziest police encounters, have a look at our previous videos and subscribe to be notified of brand new police stops.